I get this 2012 Ford Focus here with the four cylinder and today I'm going to be changing upstream O2 sensor. Now this is what I'm using. Now it's going to be pretty easy. So let's just jump right into it. So first off let's find it. Now I don't have an engine cover on this one. The car didn't come with it when I got it. It'll be alright. You'll probably have to remove it in order to see and have more space available to work with. Right here is your upstream O2 sensor. So what we're going to do is find it over here and unplug it. Now if you can see this, I'm going to go ahead reach up in here. It's got a little plastic tab that you can remove carefully. It takes a little patience. And then get it out where you can get to it a little easier. And unplug it. As you can see, there's plastic tabs you remove. The new sensor has new tabs. Now, here's the other end. Once you find it, it's right there push and release. Now I got the camera set up the best I could right now. Here's a wire. Sensor's back here. Got my O2 sensor socket. I'm going to reach back here. Slide it over. Get it down. And oh, there we go. That one wasn't too bad. Now I was able to get the wrench down in here so that I could easily get enough leverage and turn it. Here's the old one. All right, new one. Thread's already got the compound on it. So all I'm going to do is carefully slide it back in, which you're really not going to be able to see. Screw it down by hand. I'm using one hand to hold the wire up top to keep it from twisting up and hitting anything. Now that I got that tight by hand, I shall put O2 sensor socket back on and this time I'm going to tighten it down all right which this one's going to be really easy because all we got to do is reach back through there plug it back in And then find the little holes where the tabs push through, push it in, and it's done. All right, there it is. The upstream O2 sensor is changed. It's really easy to get to. Really nothing complicated about it. Just one O2 sensor socket, and you're good to go. No real reason to pay a shop a lot of money to do that when you can do it yourself. By the time you buy the sensor yourself, and if you don't have the socket already, buy that. It's still going to be cheaper than going to the shop. I hope this information proved helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching.